Okay, I finally got the radio telemetry to work with this APM 2.6 unit. This is just a spare. I'm going to actually put it in my hexcopter later. And man, what a hassle it was. It shouldn't have been. Uh, I ended up having to change the parameters a little bit. Not so much change them, but it, I had to do... Uh, two different config files, one for SRO and SR1. I couldn't just change one or the other. They both had to have those settings. I was able to leave O at uh, uh, 115 speed. This will connect at what seems like in Mission Planner at 5700. But anyway, here I'll make it go. I'll explain what I came across along the way and that gave me such difficulty. Okay, I'm going to two-hand plug this in, so I don't short anything out, so hang on a second. Alright, Dragon Link transmitter's on. Devo F12E, and here's how I'm plugged in. Oops. So there's a red and black wire, but we won't be using those. They're not hooked up. And that's on channel uh, 8, 7, 6, and 5 for serial in and out. And we're all set to give her a go. So the instructions on the site, well, they said to fire up their the plane receiver first and then the transmitter. Well, that didn't work for me. So the transmitter's on. I'm going to go to Mission Planner. The other thing it said on those instructions is as soon as you see the blue light, connect it. Well, the APM takes a few seconds to get its boot going on, so I'm going to plug it in. Wait for it to finish its little flashing. We're blue on everything, as you can see. And if this is successful, again, I hit connect. And we get action. This thing's been plaguing me for days. So the secret was to change both serial ports to those settings. I was able to leave the USB or speed at 115. Well, you can see here, I don't know if it's actually connecting at 57.6, but that's the setting I put. And I'm not going to change a damn thing. You can see if I move the APM around, I'll get some action there. Got some river monsters on in the back. So I'm very happy now. So I can go ahead and hook this up to the actual APM that's already installed. Oh, yeah, and another issue was... This is one of these deals where this unit won't load firmware in Mission Planner. All my other ones will. This one will only change firmware if I do it in APM Planner. Or APM, whatever the hell it's called. But at least I can change firmware. And any settings I take, look, I can disconnect this. Obviously they solved the problem they said where if it got disconnected you had to reboot the receiver because no problem it just hooks right back up I haven't tried flying missions obviously oh didn't I speak too soon huh okay well there we go there are some limitations after all I had it going one after the other last time well this is a good test then Go back here and reboot this receiver. Done. Okay, so there we go. I don't know what I was doing last time. It let me uh, disconnect and reconnect a whole bunch of times. 
So maybe I'll change that speed back. But uh, right now I'm quite happy with this. Finally. There's my messy basement. It's the only place I'm allowed to play. <laughs>